Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mindy, this is See Mindy Mom. Welcome if you are new. Today I wanted to share with you how I am completely overhauling my wardrobe in an easy and affordable way and why this is a weight loss tool for me, so stay tuned. All right you guys, it is Thursday and I'll probably post this tomorrow, which is Friday, and normally you would get some kind of a weight loss video, like an update or a weigh-in for me, and I am still talking about weight loss indirectly, but I really wanted to share this video with you. I've been excited about sharing it, and it does have to do with weight loss, at least for me, so stick with me because it's all gonna come full circle. I am talking today about my wardrobe, and the reason that this has to do with weight loss is because I have discovered that when I take the time to take care of myself, and when I am wearing clothes that make me feel good, have styled my hair, have done my skin routine or, or my makeup routine and given myself that confidence, I find that I feel better about myself and I'm happier and I make better choices. And that affects my weight loss because I make better choices where food is concerned, I take better care of my body, I drink my water, I sit up straighter, I'm just a more confident, happy person. But over the last year and a half since we moved, I've kind of let my wardrobe go and kind of let my routine for putting on makeup and fixing my hair. I've kind of let it go because I quit my full-time job and I've been working more um, at home or I've been working just part-time and I was just sort of, you know, buying clothes that were the right price. You know, they were on the clearance rack or just buying one item here or a shirt here or something that would help me fill in the gap in whatever season that I was in. I got to the point where a couple of weeks ago I told my husband, I do not like my clothes. I don't like the way they fit. I don't like the way they look. I don't like the way they make me feel. I'm tired of a lot of them. And I allowed myself to get to that point because I thought that I wasn't worth spending the time and money putting together a wardrobe that makes me feel good. And you guys, that's not right, okay? Let me just tell you right now that you are worthy of clothes that fit you well and that make you feel good right now. No matter where you are in your weight loss journey, whether you are losing weight, whether you have gained weight, whether you have gained weight back, you are worthy of clothes that make you feel good and that make you happy right now. I'm especially talking to you folks out there who have gained weight or have gained weight back and are punishing yourselves by wearing clothes that don't fit or that don't make you feel good, okay? You would never let your friend do that, right? We all go through those seasons where we have an unexpected expense, where we're trying to pay off debt, where it's just not in the budget to spend a lot of extra money on clothes, I get that, but whenever you arrive at a point where you have the money to dress yourself in clothes that make you feel good, I highly, highly recommend it. And again, I want you to know right now that you're worthy of that. We are getting ready to come into fall, so it is the perfect time for me to kind of reboot my wardrobe, and I am definitely going to go back to a capsule wardrobe. I am a person who is fashionably challenged, okay? I'm labeling myself that. I am not a person for whom how to do my makeup, how to style my hair, and how to pick out clothes that look good comes naturally. That does not come naturally to me. I have to work pretty hard at it. And as a result, I was just very overstimulated by shopping. I was overstimulated in my closet by all the choices. And I stumbled upon the idea of a capsule wardrobe years ago while I was working in the classroom. And the idea is that you have fewer pieces in your closet, but they all coordinate together and mix and match to create different looks for different occasions. So I went through my closet, not once, not twice, but three times <laughs> and I felt like I needed to do that because the first time through when you're decluttering and you're getting rid of stuff, there's some low hanging fruit there, right? I mean, there's stuff that you know you don't want anymore. The second time through, you have to think about it a little bit more, right? I have to think about, is this something that I really wanna keep or am I keeping it because somebody else likes it? And then the third time through, the choices got really hard, but I was still able to find some pieces that I knew needed to go either because I was holding on to them because somebody else liked them or or in some cases it's because it was worn out. You know, those clothes were beginning to show signs of wear. They were not in their best shape anymore and so they weren't going to do their best for me. What I was left with after the great closet purge <laughs> were a few items that I knew would lend themselves well to a capsule wardrobe. And so then I just sought out to kind of fill in the gaps. I ordered a few new pairs of shoes from Amazon, which are in my Amazon store, which is always linked in the description box below. I also needed to return some shoes that I had ordered from Amazon that I did not like or did not fit. And I don't know if you guys know this, maybe I'm like the last person to realize this, but did you know that you can process Amazon returns some for some items through Kohl's? 
So I just went into my Amazon account, said I want to return this item. It gave me some options, and one of the options was to return it to Kohl's, and I have one very close by. So that was super convenient, super easy. Hand them the item, show them the code on my phone that Amazon sent me. They pack it, they ship it for me for free, no extra charge. What I didn't know, though, was that they were going to hand me a coupon for 25% off my Kohl's purchase. And that was my entire purchase on top of other discounts, including clearance items. So I was able to pick up a couple of items that I knew I really wanted for my capsule wardrobe. But what I really wanted to talk with you guys about today is a service that I discovered through this process that I really wanted to share with you. It's called Fashion, F-A-S-H-O-M. Now I'm going to interject here, you guys, and I'm very particular about sharing these kinds of things with you. Yes, I do get emails from companies more and more frequently as my channel grows, asking me to try their products and review them. But I let more of those opportunities pass than I accept because I only want to share with you guys the things that I'm truly interested in or that I think will be useful to me and to my family and or that you guys would be interested in seeing or that you would like. This was one experience that I was blown away by and that I really felt like was worth sharing with you guys. Signing up with Fashion was really easy. I just went to their website and created an account. It asked me a few questions about my sizes, about my preferences. It let me sort of tell a little bit about my personal style, colors that I like, colors that I don't like. It even allowed me to give some feedback to my stylist about specific items that I might be looking for. And so I let her know. I'm trying to put together a capsule wardrobe. I don't really care for sleeveless things. I'm looking for a cardigan. Now here are a few things that I think set fashion apart. Number one, you get to set your price point, not just in general, but on specific categories of items. For instance, I could say that I am willing to pay anywhere from $20 to $40 for a blouse, but I'm willing to pay $40 to $60 for a pair of pants. The other thing that I liked about this service is that I actually got to preview the pieces before they came to my doorstep. And by the way, they have an app. And so after I signed up on the computer, I just downloaded the app and I was able to do everything from the app. But in my app, it just pulled up on my style screen that my stylist had selected some things for me. There were actually seven items. And so I just selected the five that I wanted. And so I like that I'm able to kind of preview what's coming and even choose the pieces that I want to come just in case there's something that is a total miss. I don't have to waste my time and fashion doesn't have to waste any postage. I got my first box from Fashion a few days ago and I tried on all of the items. I'm going to show them to you and talk with you about them and let you know what I kept. But I also want to let you know that there is a link in the description box. If you watch this video and you're interested, you can follow that link and you can sign up for Fashion and you'll get a $10 credit towards your first purchase and I will too. And in addition to that, your first styling fee of $15 is waived so you can actually try it out without any risk whatsoever. There's a $15 fee for every box after your first one. However, that fee applies towards any purchases you make. So that means for me, when I order my next box, as long as I keep basically at least one item from that box, I'm really not gonna have that $15 styling fee because they're gonna apply it towards my purchases. But regardless, the first time you try it, the styling fee is waived so you can keep nothing the first time and not be out any money. So I got my box pretty fast. In fact, I was surprised to see it because it said it would take like 12 to 14 days and I think it showed up in four days. <laughs> and it also came with a little note from my stylist with an invoice listing all of the prices for the items that were in the box and also an envelope with a prepaid shipping label on it so it doesn't cost me anything to mail back the items that I don't want to keep. I tried on all of these items and I'm actually going to keep several of them. So I'm going to insert here my little try on video and show you guys what I got. So first off, I put on the jeans with this striped top with the red collar. I love the pop of red at the top for a little detail and the shirt was buttery soft and exactly what I'm looking for for layering. I also really liked this jean. It was a dark wash denim, high waisted, so it came up over everything and nothing was pudging out. And I also love the detail on the bottom of these with the fringe and the back being longer than the front. Here I just threw it on with one of the jackets that's already in my closet just to look at it um, with a little bit of a different look from it. And I know that tucking or the half tuck is kind of in right now. And again, I just really love that pop of red on the shirt. So these were keepers. 
Next, I tried on this um, vertical stripe shirt that's a woven top with kind of a v-neck. I was concerned that this wouldn't lay right on me, but actually, I absolutely loved this top. Um, it fit really well. I was afraid that it would be too wide and would make me look kind of boxy, and maybe it does, but I just thought it looked really cute, and I would never have picked this out for myself. Um, again, the little half tuck thing that's so in, I think, worked really well with this shirt, and it laid just right so it wasn't gapping in any of the wrong spots. Um, I threw this on with another jacket in my closet just to see what it would look like. This is a maroon little field jacket. And with these outfits, I am trying on an ankle booty that I bought from Amazon. And those are linked in my description box in my Amazon store. So you can go and look at those if you want to check it out. But this was another winner for me. I thought this shirt looked really cute. It was very flowy. It could be styled a lot of different ways. Here it is um, tucked in with the jacket. And I just thought it looked really cute with the jean that they picked out with that little booty. I rolled the jeans for this look just to look and see what it would look like. And I just thought it was a really great look. I tried on the cardigan with this and I had tried it on with the other shirt as well. And I was just verifying that this is not going to work for me. Um, it's a little too tight in the arm. And even though it's a really lightweight cotton, which I like, and the length is what I want in a neutral color, it's just a little too tight in the top for layering with shirts because you can see the outline of the shirt on the arm underneath. So I'm going to probably send that one back. The last thing that I'm trying on, the last of my five pieces, is this gray sweater, which I did not think I would like when I put it on, but it's actually really versatile. Um, it's long, so you can style it all the way down over your rear, but also if you kind of bunch it up at the bottom, it makes it look like it's tucked in. And I love that the underarm of this shirt kind of blouses out a little bit, and so it evens me out, I feel like, on the top and the bottom where I'm wider on my hip. And um, I was also concerned that this would gap in the wrong spot because typically shirts like this with a v-neck, if I bend over even slightly, I'll be flashing people. <laughs> and I don't want that to happen. But this actually stayed in the right spot. Here's me trying that out again, bending over to see if anybody can see down my shirt. But nope, didn't happen. And it even stayed really secure on my shoulders as well. Here it is with the field jacket that I already have in my closet. Just trying to use some things to style it differently and see what it looks like. And again, here it is long, and um, this would work with a good legging or a, a another kind of pant, um, and you can style it this way where it's long, or you can pull it up and kind of bunch it up and make it blouse, and I think it still looks really cute. So again, this is not something that I probably would have picked up for myself. I would not have thought of this style as being something that I could wear, but I really like the way that this looked, and this is another keeper for me. One of the other really cool things about Fashion is that they have discounts that are tiered depending on how many items from your box you keep. So if you keep three or four items, you will get a 25% discount off of the cost of those items. If you keep all five items, you'll get a 30% discount off of the cost of those items. I chose to keep four items from my box, everything except for the cardigan, and my total after that 25% discount was applied was about $125. That is a price that I am willing to pay because not only am I receiving clothes, Somebody else did the work for me, you guys. Somebody else picked these items out and somebody else took the trouble of mailing them right to my door. Having the items sent to me and somebody else pick the items is totally worth that extra little bit of money. And finally, I can highly, highly recommend the fashion service. I plan to use them again. I'm so happy to have a styling service that is affordable, that offers the tiered discounting, that allows you to apply your styling fee towards the products that you're purchasing. And of course, I love that it allows me to set my own price point and that I can manage all of this through an app that is on my phone, which saves me so much time and hassle and frustration. And I'm going to end this video now with a little fashion show for you guys of me trying on some more of my fashion pieces along with some of the other things that I purchased or that are in my wardrobe that are going to help me kick off my capsule wardrobe for the fall. As usual, I appreciate you guys stopping by and I'll check in with you again very soon. Bye.